Rylan here with Senna, and today I'm going to go over all of our Moto intercom units we have on the market. We started creating our units in 2010 with the SMH Sen with Bluetooth technology, and we've since expanded all the way to mesh, creating units for just about anything you might need. The difference between Bluetooth intercom and mesh intercom is that Bluetooth intercom links unit to unit up to four riders, while other units like the 20S Evo can link up to eight. Versus mesh is great for groups because it's got unlimited number of riders that can join in nine different channels. What's really neat about mesh is if you were to separate while in a ride, it self heals when you come back. So you don't have to stop and reconnect and that's something that you would do in Bluetooth because it connects in a daisy chain. One thing a lot of people don't know about mesh is that it has a higher frequency in Hertz. So when it delivers sound and communication, it's crystal clear, which is great in groups and it's changed the game in communication. As I dive into our Motocom units, I'm going to talk about them in their series. So I'm gonna start with our 50 series, which is our flagship top the line product. We have three different units in our 50 series, the 50S, the 50R, and the 50C. And before I get into what makes them all different from each other, I'm going to talk about all the features that all three of them have in common, making them the best of the best. My favorite feature of our 50 series is the fact that they're both Bluetooth intercom and mesh intercom, which is really great if you go on group rides during the week and they're mesh only, you have that option, and then you have group rides on the weekend and a bunch of people have Bluetooth only intercoms. You can connect to both, and what's really nice is that they automatically connect in the Bluetooth intercom, which makes it super seamless and a lot easier. The 50 series comes with Harman Kardon speakers, which is really nice because it's super clear crystal sound in your helmet, which really changes the game when you ride, when you're listening to music or taking phone calls because you won't miss a word or a beat. They also offer a voice command feature, which is really nice because you won't have to pull out your phone or click a button to get directions or make a phone call or anything like that. You can just say something like, hey Siri, take me to the grocery store, and it'll start giving you directions without having to use your hands at all. They all three come with a Wi-Fi adapter cord too, which is really nice because it's a USB-C cord that that you can plug into any power source and you can update your units via Wi-Fi instead of having to download the device manager and update them on your computer. The 50S comes with three different microphone options, a boom mic, a wired boom mic, and a wired mic. The 50R and the 50C only come with two different microphone options, the wired boom mic and wired mic. So now I'm gonna talk about what makes the units different from each other. So our 50R and our 50S are pretty much the same unit, it just really boils down to what style that you like. So our 50S has that really traditional Senna look with the glove-friendly jog dial, which is really nice. A lot of riders prefer it, it's a little bit more popular because it's so friendly with a riding glove. And then we have the 50R, which isn't quite as wide as the 50S, so it's a little bit more sleek, and then it has three buttons. So this is really preferred by riders who do a little bit of rugged riding because it kind of stays close to their helmet. And then with the 50C, what really makes this different is it has the 4K camera built in it. So you can vlog while you ride, or if you're riding somewhere really scenic, you can get that footage for yourself. And then it also records the audio of you talking, or if you're riding with friends, it'll capture all of that communication and put it right on the footage. So again, our 50 series is our top of the line flagship products, and if you're wanting the best of the best and budget isn't a problem for you, then I would definitely go with the 50 series. Now, if you're looking for similar features like that Bluetooth intercom and mesh intercom capabilities, then a little bit more affordable, I would recommend the 30K. The 30K has similar mesh capabilities to the 50S, like it has the voice commands and advanced noise control when you're writing, but it's a little bit more affordable. And part of that is because it doesn't come with Harman Kardon speakers, it does come with HD speakers, which is better than our standard speakers, so that's really nice. And it has that similar jog dial, which is glove friendly, which is also really great. If you're looking for a more affordable option to the 50S that still has that Bluetooth intercom and mesh intercom capabilities, then the 30K is definitely for you. But let's say that you ride with a group that's mesh only or you're only interested in mesh. Then I would recommend the Spider Series. The Spider Series is a more affordable option than the 30K because it doesn't have all the bells and whistles of either, but it does have HD speakers and it has those features like advanced noise control, things like that. It comes in two styles, similar to the 50R and the 50S. The RT1 has that slim body design with the three buttons for a more rugged look, or you can get the ST1, which has that glove-friendly jog dial and that traditional Senna style. So again, if you know you need a mesh-only option and you're looking for something even more affordable than the 30K or the 50 series, then I definitely recommend checking out the Spider series. Plus, I think they have the sleekest look out of all of our units. Now we're gonna get into Bluetooth-only units, and I'm gonna start with the 20S Evo. 
The 20S Evo was a game changer when it came out because it introduced audio multitasking. Audio multitasking is when you can listen to music and share music while also on intercom with your friends. The audio multitasking feature was actually added to other products after the 20S Evo was released. Plus, it has the dynamic shark fin design. And what that is, is it's the antenna that's fixed up. So with these units, you can bump up the antenna to increase range and clarity. And this one is a fixed antenna, so you have that range and clarity all the time. So the next series I'm gonna talk about is the 10 series. The 10 series was a huge upgrade from our SMH10 at the time that it came out, which is the very first unit we ever produced. So what made this a big upgrade from the SMH10 is that it had higher quality speakers, had the ability to pair with the smartphone app, as well as it had the ability to pair with the remote controls that we have for the handlebars, so the RC3 and the RC4. As well as it came out with Bluetooth 4.0, so you were now able to connect with up to four people. It comes in a bunch of different designs, so again it has the 10S, which has that jog dial design, as well as the 10R, which is similar to these units with the sleek three button design that's a little bit thinner. And then they came out with the 10C Evo. So the 10C Evo is a more affordable option compared to the 50C. It still has that 4K camera, but it's Bluetooth only, which this is a great option if you're just looking to record your audio while on a ride with one other person or by yourself, it'll put it all on the footage as well. The next series I'm going to talk about is our 3 series. Our 3 series was designed, it's two-way Bluetooth intercom and it was designed for open face helmets. So what's really nice about this one is it doesn't have any controls on the side of the helmet. This has controls on the mic, which is really nice when it's open face. Though what's really cool about this too is it can be changed from helmet to helmet because it's all inside and it just sits over your ears. It comes with advanced noise control, which is also really nice. And then if you do prefer the controls on the side of the helmet but aren't looking for anything big and you still want only open face, then you you can do the 3S Plus Universal, and that has a small control panel on the side of the helmet. Another Bluetooth intercom series that we have that's different from all of our other items is the 5 series, and it's different because they come with LCD screens on the front. So if you wanna be able to visually see what your noise level is on or your battery percentage, you can do that with these units. What's really nice is they come with HD audio and communication, so when you're riding with your riders and friends, it's gonna be super clear, as well as they have advanced noise control, which most of our units have advanced noise control, and what that is, is it is where you, when you're riding and it's super windy, it's gonna cancel out that wind noise, so you don't have to worry about hitting high speeds and not being able to hear the other people that you're riding with, because it's gonna cancel that out, which is really nice. It comes in two different styles, the 5S, which is that jog dial that we all know, the traditional Senna style. And then it comes in the 5R, which is, again, the slimmer three button design. And then we also designed the 5R Lite. So if you're still wanting the LCD option, but you're wanting a little bit of a more affordable option, the 5R Lite is very similar to the 5R, except it's a little bit slimmer and the battery life is a little bit shorter to make it a little bit slimmer. But it's nice that you have that option if you are wanting an LCD screen. So if you're someone who really likes just having all the specs in front of you, then the 5 Series is definitely for you. And it's actually really helpful when you're setting it up on a helmet because you don't always have to connect to the app because everything's right in front of you, which is really nice. So let's say you're riding with a couple of friends and this Bluetooth intercom is perfect for you. The next series that I'm gonna talk about is the SF series. The SF series has a simple sleek design and it's great if you're looking to just have small communication between rider to rider, rider to passenger, or even up to four riders depending on the unit. The SF series comes in four different types of units and they all have separate purposes, but what they all share in common is that they have that slim design as well as they have a clamp for them to switch from helmet to helmet. The SF series introduced a robust version of the audio multitasking, which was really great back in the day. Now. The SF1 was the first one to come out, and this one is perfect for rider to passenger. So if you have somebody in a sidecar with you or even just on the back, you can't go as far in distance, but this is great if you just ride with someone who just wants to hang out with you on the bike as you ride. The next one that was introduced was the SF2, which is great for rider to rider communication. So if you're just riding with one other friend all the time on the bike, this is going to be the Bluetooth intercom for you. The next unit in the SF series is the SF4. This was great when it came out because you were able to talk to up to four riders, which in the FF series was a breakthrough because at first it was rider to passenger, then rider to rider, and then now you can talk with up to four riders. And then the last unit in the SF series is the SFR. So this is the same as the SF4 with the four-way intercom, but again in a more sleek, slimmer design against your helmet. 
So I recommend the SF series if you know you only want Bluetooth rider to rider communication and you want a simple sleek design. And what's really nice about this is it really is that thin. So if you just want just a small unit on the side of your helmet, the SF series is for you. The last series that I'm going to talk about today is our SMH series. This series is special to Senna because it features the SMH10, which is the very first unit that we came out with. This unit was a game changer in the industry because it introduced the glove friendly jog dial that we all know and love, making it super easy to control your unit while on a ride. These units all have advanced noise control, music sharing, as well as universal Bluetooth. All of our Bluetooth intercom units actually have universal Bluetooth. Now keep in mind some units like the Spider series won't have this feature because they are mesh only intercom. Meaning if you connect with another unit that's not a Senna unit with Bluetooth intercom, you can still communicate with them. We also came out with the SMH-10R, which again is just a slimmer, sleeker version of the SMH-10. Another unit we offer in this series is the SMH-5. The reason that we came out with the SMH-5 was because at the time we only offered the SMH-10 and we wanted to offer a little bit more of an affordable option if you aren't looking to splurge on the SMH-10. This is only a two-way Bluetooth intercom, while the SMH-10 is a four-way Bluetooth intercom, as well as it's a little bit smaller in size and it has a shorter battery life. This is still a great option if you're only wanting rider-to-rider -rider communication and you really are are looking to just save a little bit of money. Okay, to do a recap on all of the products that we just went over, we started with our 50 series, which is our top of the line flagship product, where if price isn't a thing for you, then this is the series you wanna go with, offering the 50S, the 50R, and our 50C. If you're looking to have similar items but don't wanna splurge, then I recommend the 30K. It still has that Bluetooth intercom and mesh intercom, but it doesn't have all the bells and whistles, making it a little bit more affordable. If you're wanting a mesh only option, then the Spider series is for you. It's definitely more affordable because it doesn't have that Bluetooth intercom or the Harman Kardon speakers, but it's a great option if you ride with mesh only groups and you're looking to save a little bit of cash. And then going into our Bluetooth only products, we have the 20S Evo. Remember, this was the first unit to actually have audio multitasking, so you can listen to music while riding with friends or getting that direction in your headset. Then we have the 10S which was the upgrade from the SMH10. This unit has that jog dial and it comes in a bunch of different options, whether you're needing the 10R to be flat against your helmet or you want that tried and true, that's the Bluetooth intercom at a more affordable price. Then we have the 3S Plus Boom. This is perfect for open face helmets and it's all inside the helmet and we offer the Universal as well that has the unit outside the helmet for you to tap, but super slim design for your open face helmets. If you like that LCD screen, then we have the 5 Series, we have the one with the jog dial, which is the 5S, and then we have the 3 simple button option, which is the 5R, and an even slimmer, more affordable option with the 5R Lite. Then we have the tried and true SMH10 Series, it's our original unit, has that glove friendly jog dial that was an industry breaker at the time, and we have different options of that as well with the 10R. And even offering the SMH5, which is an even more affordable version of that, that's only two-way Bluetooth intercom, but is perfect for the pocketbook. And we can't forget about our SF series. This is perfect for people who only want Bluetooth and are desiring that slim design. At the end of the day, Senna's are meant to enhance your riding experience. Whether you just want to ride on your own and listen to music and take phone calls, or you want to ride with a group, we offer something for you. We have that mesh intercom, which is great for groups with a one click to connect, or we offer the Bluetooth intercom, which is tried and true, perfect for small groups, or we offer an option for both if that's what you're looking for. We definitely have a unit that fits your needs. Thanks for checking in, and I can't wait to see you next time.